Hello YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you a uh, cool application called Desktops, which is in version 1.0, by Mark Ruzinovich and uh, Bryce Cogswell. So this is pretty much virtual desktops um, on your PC. It's not the thing where, like I've got some, like a virtual box, more as in the Ubuntu um, style where you have virtual kind of workspaces, you have two workspaces and you can have different applications running in each workspace so this is pretty much desktops v1.0 and you want to download it, it's been up since August uh, 21st 2008 so I'm not sure why this hasn't got quite a lot of recognition because it is a really nice application and what you get uh, when you open uh, or extract it up now this is where you get you get the exe and the text file. I'm just going to extract the exe to my desktop. And I'm just going to close WinRAR. You also might want to read the uh, eula.txt thing if you want to. And you just want to simply run the exe file. So when it opens up, Sorry, my um, system is running quite slow here. My virtual box. I've only got one gig of RAM on it, and you know Vista runs quite slow on one gig. So you want to go into this configuration settings here. You can just um, change a few of these settings, um, however you like. Um, let's have Alt, okay. And now we just click. You can see that. I have um, my first desktop. Now one thing that you'll need to um, notice is that er the Aero interface can only be run on your first um, and main desktop. You cannot have that on uh, all four which is available, so it's four that are available. You can only have the Aero interface on one. Um, obviously that's no use to me because I'm in VirtualBox and VirtualBox doesn't support the full Aero interface. but Anyway, that's uh, if you do have Aero. So, for example, in my Windows 7 uh, host PC here, uh, if I had um, desktops running, all my other three virtual desktops will not have Aero capability. If you do want to um, turn desktops off, you need to log off then log on again. So, you just press to create desktop 2. So just click. And then it takes quite a while to load so now I'm in a new desktop so this is quite cool because then I can run run different applications in each um, desktop so for example if you wanna go to Google in one go to Wikipedia in w in the other one and go to YouTube you know in in one that's it, it's pretty much for for multitasking because you know, it's really nice. You can see everything, well, not at the same time, but you know what I mean. You can see it all very nicely. Sorry about that sound. I was um, fire foot, fireworks. Sorry, if you could hear that. Anyways, so I'm just you just click and go into each um, desktop, and um, if you just go into the options, you have um, the options which you should be able to configure when you um, first start it up. So you can hit the Alt and um, the number for the desktops for example I'm in desktop 1 at the at the moment if I want to switch to desktop 2 because uh, I ha have the um, shortcut to alt and um, the number for the de desktop so I want to go into number 2 so I just hit alt and number 2 and I go into num number 2 and um, that's pretty much desktops so a link to the download will be in the video description and I hope you enjoyed this video Please comment, rate, and subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.